Welcome back to The Bible is Art. We explore the literary artistry of the Bible, and this week we're talking about 666, the number of the beast. Greg Beale has a great article on the Gospel Coalition blog about why the number of the beast is 666 in Revelation 13, 18, and I wholeheartedly agree with everything he says there, but I think that there is a layer that's missing. You see, whenever you're interpreting a text, you should always look at the closest connections first. The number 666 occurs with three people, Solomon, the returned exiles, and the beast in Revelation. And given how specific and rare the number is, it seems that John is alluding to one of these two Old Testament references. And I believe the allusion is to Solomon in his 666. Now, let me read to you where this number comes from. It's 1 Kings chapter 10 and verse 14, and it says, Now the weight of gold that came to Solomon in one year was 666 talents of gold. This may seem unconnected to the beast in Revelation, but when you discover the purpose and the placement of this text in the book of Kings, layers are opened up in Revelation. Up to this point in 1 Kings chapter 10, Solomon has been a paradigmatic king. He built God's temple. He prayed for wisdom instead of wealth. He included the Gentiles in both the construction of the temple and the teaching of wisdom, if you remember the Queen of Sheba. But 1 Kings chapter 10 and verse 14 starts a sequence of three paragraphs that detail Solomon's violation of the three laws of kingship given in Deuteronomy chapter 17. Let me remind you of those. Moses says that kings in Israel aren't supposed to, one, accumulate gold, two, accumulate horses, that is for warfare, or three, accumulate many wives. Thus, 666 is the pivot between the man of the highest wisdom and deepest folly. Indeed, the deepest folly because he had the highest wisdom. Solomon, the son of David, embodies the best and the worst in humanity. So let's look at this in Revelation. When we look at the beast in Revelation, along with those who are aligned and follow the beast, they commit the same three sins. As evil kings, the beast, the woman and the false prophet, multiply horses for warfare in Revelation chapter 19. They commit sexual immorality with the kings of the earth, Revelation 18, and make themselves wealthy on gold, chapter 19. But the point of John's identification of the beast's number as 666 is not just that they commit the same sins as a paradigmatic fallen king, Solomon, but that evil is so evil because it is the corruption of the good. As one interpretation of Babylon and Revelation holds, Babylon is harlot Jerusalem, not, or not just, Rome. Much like Matthew's characterization of Israel as Egypt, John is communicating that the holiest city has become the harlot city, killing God's king. Now, before John tells us that the number of the beast is 666, he says, This calls for wisdom. Let the one who has understanding calculate the number of the beast. Why do we need wisdom and understanding for this number? What is difficult about it? Perhaps because the identification is so counterintuitive. If Hitler was the beast that would not need wisdom. But if the beast were compared to the man of the highest reputation and righteousness, that would be, require wisdom. Nero would make sense. Solomon needs wisdom. This is John's warning that the beast is not just a foreign, nefarious creature, but could be us. Let's remember what John said. He said that the number of the beast is 666. That is, the number 666 will tell us something about the character of the beast. 
And if, we have, and if what we have learned is true, the character of the beast is that he is a corrupt version of the good. He is an evil us, a crooked king. And that, my friends, is why the Bible is art. Thank you so much for uh, watching the video this week. I really appreciate it. This is a complicated topic. I know I assumed a lot in this video about the book of Revelation. I apologize if you have any questions about that. Uh, feel free to ask. If you'd like to support the channel, you can do so at patreon.com slash the Bible is art. You can check out more stuff at the website, thebibleisart.com. Thank you so much. Leave your comments below. Goodbye.